back to my channel. It feels like forever since I sat behind this camera. Miss being behind this camera. A lot of times going on since I last filmed. And I just wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you who viewed my last video. I never thought it would reach so many of you. And I appreciate the support. Truly appreciate it. And yeah. So today I wanted to try a foundation hack. I've seen this done a couple of times. And in particular, I've seen it by a YouTuber by the name of Jackie I know I'm sure most of you all are familiar. And what this hack is about, it's applying your setting powder before your foundation. I know we're used to applying the setting powder after we apply the foundation, but today we're going to switch it up. I carry out this particular application and show you all how it has you know set on my face throughout the day in the video with how it looks at the end of my day so to begin with with this hack what's recommended is that you follow your regular skincare routine such as what I usually do is cleanse and apply my moisturizer. It's very important to apply moisturizer before any makeup application. After the moisturizer, we're going to apply our primer. Today I'll be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I know you all are used to seeing me using this. And I think I'm going to use this because it has a sort of tacky feel. I think it will grip onto the powder much. Keep in mind, that this application I did a lot of research before I start, decided I wanted to do this to long out after researching is that this particular makeup application is suitable for oily skin types it's more suitable for oily skin types and even if it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it wouldn't work for when you're applying this particular technique Keep in mind your skin type, whether it's oily, whether it's dry, keep in mind your climate and also the type of setting powder you use. I'm going to apply my primer. And with this particular primer, it will go a long way. Now, I'm going to apply the setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. What I love about this particular setting powder is it's fine. It isn't too, oh my God, too heavy on the skin. So now when you're going in with the setting powder, keep in mind you don't want to put too much because you can end up looking cute. So I'm just using a puff. I'm dabbing a bit and taking out any excess. Alright, so what this does is it work well with oily skin because, as I said, it creates a barrier between the primer and the foundation and helps keep that, those both liquids at bay. And I guess we'll see from how long. Shine of the primer has disappeared somewhat. You can see the shine of the primer has disappeared somewhat. Now I'm going on to the foundation and I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stain Plate Foundation in the shade Toasty Toffee 4W2. What I love about this foundation is that it can like finish. Lash through all the day. Going in with my concealer, my tart shape tape in this shape tan. I 
and the foundation you go in with your setting spray to tie everything in. just yet. I think because I have dry skin, the especially the on the eye area tends to dry out very quickly and at the moment it does look dry and see how it's all creasing. But I think the true test will be and I leave it for a couple of hours and how it looks at the end of the day and I will be back to let you know my final look then I ended up this video approximately 3.15 this afternoon and it's now... And it was the time. It's now 9.38. So approximately 6 hours. What happens with me is throughout the day when I'm wearing makeup, I tend to see fine lines. This technique again. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, keep in mind the type of skin type you have when trying this particular technique. For people with oily skin, I would recommend this technique as the setting powder helps create a barrier between your moisturizer and your primer and the foundation and it helps keep the oils at bay and for people with dry skin like mine, when Using this particular technique, I would recommend a hydrating primer. And if you all try it, let me know what you all think of this technique. And um, yeah. So we hope each and every one of you are safe and doing well. And I do look forward to creating another video for you all. And until we meet again, stay blessed.